Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that is trending as of right now. Just a quick note, today when I'm filming this, it is the 31st of July. This is pre-recorded, so I'm giving you the most updated information until this moment. If there are any developments, I apologize, but... Unfortunately, I cannot travel in time. A 20-year-old model lied about being transgender after she was called out for transphobic comments, but said she only did it because she received death threats. This title is a whole ass mouthful and a mindfuck at the same time, so let's just get into it. A model for Rihanna's Savage X Fenty brand has apologized for claiming she was transgender after receiving death threats for her transphobic comments. Carissa Pinkston, 20, has become one of the faces of the brand and worked with other big designer names like Marc Jacob. On July 23rd, screenshots started circulating on social media of a Facebook post from someone called Rissa Danielle, who was later revealed to be Pinkston, saying transgender women aren't real women. Being transgender does not make you a woman, it simply makes you transgender, the post said. Being transgender does not make you a woman in a transgender context, according to gender and sex. This is how they want to be perceived. In a biological context, there are females and males. This is the world in 2019. According to paper, she also likened trans women to pedophiles. I don't know what the f that was. I don't know what the connection she made between trans women and pedophiles, but laughable, honestly. Then she went live on Instagram, and as far as I can tell, it's either muted or silent, but she is very emotional, as would be anyone caught in a very big lie. So then she posted a long statement about how she'd been fired from her agency and a claim that she was actually transgender herself. I wasn't ready to come about it yet, but today I got fired and I've been receiving hate mail and death threats ever since, so I'm being forced to tell the truth, she wrote. I'm transgender. I transitioned at a very young age and I've lived my life as a female ever since. She continued, saying it was very hard to keep this a secret. And what she said was a direct reflection of my inner insecurities. I've since come to the realization I am a woman, we all are, she concluded. Obviously, this is egregious, immoral to lie about your identity to avoid getting backlash for comments you made. It would have been genuinely easier to just say, yeah, I fucked up, I don't believe that, or whatever, than to make up this whole persona, I guess, or this whole experience that she never obviously had. It's genuinely the most immature reaction I can imagine. So like if I ever said I didn't like gay people and then people told me, oh, well, that's fucked up. And I'd come out and be like, well, actually I'm gay. So you're not allowed to be mad. Bitch, no, that's not how it works. That just seems like such a childish thing to do. I'm genuinely in shock that someone who's in the public eye, no less, would do something like that. People were incredibly confused to say the least, especially when a friend of Pinkston, Elise Wilson, who is also a model, commented underneath the post saying she did not believe the statement. I'm not understanding how she got sex reassignment surgery at a very young age or when she started hormone replacements, Wilson, whose account is at Odd Freckles, commented. I've seen baby pictures of Carissa, I've seen her fully naked, I've been around this woman long enough to fully know her. She added they have many trans friends, so the topic would definitely have come up before. Then the friend, Wilson, commented that she's not transphobic and if her friend was really trans, she would be fully supportive. And that's one of the problems I have with how things are going right now, is that if you disagree with someone or don't believe someone and believe that they're posing as something they're not, that doesn't make you transphobic. That makes you skeptical because the evidence you have suggests that someone isn't what they say they are. And faking an experience like what transgender people experience via dysphoria amongst other things is disgusting. So being called out for lying is not transphobic. That's just being a decent human being calling out someone who's trying to bullshit everyone. Shortly afterwards, Pinkston went on Instagram again to post a new statement saying she apologized for the transphobic remarks she made. She also admitted that she lied about being transgender. I panicked and thought if I came out as trans that I would somehow make things better for myself, but it appears I've only made them worse. She wrote, I'm sorry, I'm only 20 and I'm human. I make mistakes, but I refuse to let them define me. I hope you can all forgive me and move on from this because I'm so much more than this incident and I'm not a coward. First of all, I'm pretty sure that's the definition of coward, which is hiding and running away from your problems. 
you're a coward. Let's just set that straight. I'm only 20 and I'm only human. No, we're not doing that today. Not today, Satan. You're 20. You're a full ass adult. You're going to be held responsible just like an adult. I'm pretty sure even teenagers would know that making up a lie about who you are is generally a bad idea. So using the age excuse, nope. And you're human. Yeah, you make mistakes. Some mistakes are worse than others. You gotta face that too. Then she said she was taking some time out to reflect on her actions, but not before posting photos with transgender model and actress Hunter Schaefer. So you're really just making your case worse. I just don't know. Granted, I've not ever been in a public scandal of sorts, so I don't know what happens to people's brains when they're that overwhelmed, but genuinely this person keeps making the worst decisions ever because just posting a picture with a trans person to prove that you don't hate trans people, it's not gonna come off as genuine. It'll be like someone being accused of white supremacy posting a picture with a black person to prove that they don't hate black people. It's not that simple. It doesn't prove anything, so let's just know. I hate to do this because it doesn't concern me. Me being transphobic is stupid. Pinkston wrote, I've been friends with Hunter way before all these comments and now she won't even talk to me. Pinkston's Instagram page is now currently unavailable to view. So then on Twitter, uh, someone posted screenshots of Pinkston's posts. So in regard to Hunter, she said, and she's fine for not talking to me. People are allowed to be mad. I'm allowed to be frustrated. If you're trans and would like to help educate me about the topic like I had intended in the first place, then please DM me. Otherwise, you're just here to make me feel miserable and that's not how I want anyone to feel. I love my trans friends and it was all good a year ago. Funny how shit changes. Now, hold on to your hats because the bullshit's about to be strong. She said she felt like a trans person in a way because she was bullied in high school. Girl, bye! So then most of us would be trans if that's the definition of being transgender. A huge amount of people were bullied in high school and that doesn't make them trans, okay? Let's... Oh my God. I'm taking full responsibility for what I said, she told Buzzfeed, but denied she claimed to be trans to cover up the comments she made in her Facebook post. So how is she taking responsibility exactly? <laughs> it was never to avoid any backlash, but I did panic, she said, and I do know what it's like to be bullied and picked on for being different and I wanted to fit into a community. Just in that moment, I didn't know what to do. She was receiving death threats and coming out as trans was her only option. The only option. There was no other option that came to mind other than saying she was trans. Sounds like a you problem. Also, I hate to be that person, but if you are a person online, at some point you will get death threats over even stupid shit. And as much as I hate that that is a thing, it's something that is a reality and we have to make our peace with and almost expect for our own self-preservation. I've gotten that and it sucks, but it doesn't excuse making shit decisions. She added, I got an experience of what a transgender person goes through and I'm definitely not transphobic. Dude, you have not gone through what a transgender person has gone through. Just stop. Like, I feel like every time this woman adds something, it just, it just shoots her in the foot even more. And at this point, with the amount of bullets her foot has taken, there's not much left. Also, quick side note, but this reminds me of a point that I brought up a while ago when I was talking about Jessica Yaniv and the fact that some people use identities as a way to protect themselves or to act in some type of way and think they can get away with it, and this person is just another example of that. Anyway, that's all that was written in this article so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I just feel like everything here was mismanaged and there were so many opportunities to actually be responsible and be a decent human being and she never took any of them. So my empathy meter is low with this one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always and let's get right into the fan art.